We're diving into a topic that often gets shrouded in whispers and jokes, erections, but the truth is, understanding how erections work is about more than just the birds and the bees. It's about understanding a vital part of male sexual health. Whether you're a guy experiencing changes in your body or simply curious about how things work, knowledge is power. Knowing what's normal, what's not, and why things happen can empower you to take control of your health. So, let's break down the science behind erections in a way that's clear, concise, and easy to grasp. Think of this as a judgment-free zone where we can explore the fascinating mechanics of the male body. You know that feeling of excitement or arousal? That's your brain kicking off the process of an erection. The brain is the command center, receiving signals from your senses, touch, sight, smell, even thoughts, and sending messages to the rest of the body. Think of it like this. Your brain is like a computer, processing information and sending instructions. When you find something arousing, your brain sends a signal down your spinal cord like an email message, telling your body to prepare for action. This initial spark from the brain is crucial because it sets in motion a chain reaction that ultimately leads to an erection. It's the first domino in a complex process, and without it, nothing else happens. Now let's talk hormones, specifically testosterone, a key player in male health. This hormone is like the fuel that keeps the male reproductive system running smoothly and efficiently. It's produced primarily in the testicles, and it's essential for developing and maintaining male characteristics, such as muscle mass and facial hair. One of testosterone's key roles is supporting erections and sexual health. It does this by influencing the sensitivity of nerves in the penis, making them more receptive to signals from the brain. Imagine testosterone as a sort of amplifier, boosting the signals that tell the penis to become erect and ready for action. While testosterone is crucial, it's not the only player in the game of male health. Other hormones and chemical messengers also play a role, creating a complex interplay that contributes to healthy erectile function and overall well-being. Okay, here's where things get interesting. You see, an erection is essentially all about blood flow. When you become aroused, those signals from your brain trigger the arteries in your penis to widen, allowing more blood to flow in. Think of it like a water balloon. As you fill it with water, it expands and becomes firm. Similarly, as blood rushes into the penis, it fills two spongy tissues called the corpora cavernosa, causing them to swell and become rigid. This increased blood flow is what gives the penis its hardness and rigidity during an erection. It's a remarkable example of how our bodies are designed to respond to both physical and psychological stimulation. Section 5 Nerve Signals, The Communication Highway We've talked about the brain sending signals, but how do those signals actually reach the penis? This is a fascinating process that involves a complex network of nerves. That's where nerves come in. These nerves are like the messengers of the body, carrying vital information. Nerves act like a communication highway, transmitting messages between the brain, spinal cord, and the rest of the body, including the penis. This intricate system ensures that the right signals are sent at the right time. These nerve signals are essential for both achieving and maintaining an erection. Without them, the process simply wouldn't work. They tell the blood vessels in the penis to relax and widen, allowing for increased blood flow. This increased blood flow is what leads to an erection. They also help to trap the blood within the penis, maintaining the erection. This trapping mechanism is crucial for sustaining an erection long enough for sexual activity. So, you see, it's a delicate system of communication. Each part must work perfectly in sync with the others. Any disruption to these nerve signals, whether due to injury, disease, or medication, can interfere with a man's ability to achieve or maintain an erection. This is why understanding and protecting this communication highway is so important for sexual health. Section 6. The Corpora Cavernosa. Key players in the erection process. Let's zoom in on those two spongy tissues we mentioned earlier. The corpora cavernosa. These are the key players in the erection process. Acting like chambers that fill with blood during arousal, imagine them as two long cylindrical balloons running the entire length of the penis. When a man becomes aroused, the arteries supplying blood to these tissues relax and widen, allowing more blood to flow in and fill the corpora cavernosa. As the corpora cavernosa expand, they press against veins that normally drain blood from the penis, 
effectively trapping the blood inside. This trapping of blood is what sustains the erection, keeping the penis firm and rigid for the duration of arousal. Section 7. Psychological Factors – The Mind-Body Connection While we focused on the physical mechanisms of erections, it's important to remember that the mind plays a crucial role too. Emotions, stress, anxiety, and even relationship dynamics can all impact erectile function. Think of it like this. Your brain is the conductor of an orchestra, and your body is the orchestra itself. If the conductor is stressed or distracted, the orchestra won't play in harmony. Similarly, if you're feeling anxious or stressed, it can interfere with your body's ability to achieve an erection. That's why it's essential to address any underlying psychological factors that may be contributing to erectile difficulties. Therapy, stress reduction techniques, and open communication with your partner can make a world of difference. Section 8. Lifestyle Factors Impacting Erectile Function Believe it or not, your lifestyle choices can also impact your erections. Everyday habits and decisions play a significant role in your sexual health. Factors like smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, lack of exercise, and a poor diet can all take a toll on your vascular health, which is crucial for healthy blood flow. These habits don't just affect your heart, they impact every part of your body, including your sexual organs. Think of your blood vessels as a network of pipes. Just like pipes can get clogged with debris, your blood vessels can get clogged with plaque. Over time, unhealthy habits can lead to plaque buildup in these pipes, restricting blood flow. This restriction can make it difficult for blood to reach the areas where it's needed most, including the penis. This is especially true in the smaller blood vessels of the penis, which can contribute to erectile difficulties. When these vessels are compromised, achieving and maintaining an erection becomes challenging. The good news is that many of these lifestyle factors are modifiable. You have the power to make changes that can positively impact your health. By making healthier choices, such as quitting smoking, reducing alcohol intake, exercising regularly, and eating a balanced diet, you can improve your overall health and potentially enhance your erectile function. These changes not only benefit your sexual health, but also contribute to your overall well-being, making you feel better and more energetic in your daily life. Section 9. Age and Erections. Understanding the Changes. As men age, it's natural for their bodies to change, and that includes changes in erectile function. It's important to understand that these changes are a normal part of aging and don't necessarily mean something is wrong. Just like any other part of the body, the tissues in the penis can become less elastic over time, which can affect their ability to expand and hold blood effectively. Additionally, testosterone levels naturally decline with age, which can also impact erectile function. It's important to remember that age is just a number. While some men may experience changes in their erectile function as they get older, many others continue to enjoy a healthy sex life well into their later years. Section 10, Common Issues, When Things Don't Go As Planned. This section is crucial because it addresses the unexpected challenges that can arise in medical treatments and health conditions. Now let's address the elephant in the room. What happens when things don't go as planned? It's a scenario that many people fear, but it's important to understand that setbacks are a natural part of any medical journey. Erectile dysfunction, or ED, is a common condition that affects millions of men, and it can have a significant impact on a man's quality of life. It's not just about physical health. It can also affect emotional well-being and relationships. ED can be caused by a variety of factors, including stress, anxiety, relationship problems, medical conditions like diabetes and heart disease, certain medications, and lifestyle factors like smoking and alcohol consumption. Understanding these causes is the first step towards finding an effective solution. The good news is that there are effective treatments available for ED, ranging from lifestyle modifications and therapy, to medications and even surgery. Each treatment option has its own benefits and potential side effects, so it's important to discuss these with your healthcare provider. If you're experiencing ED, it's important to talk to your doctor to determine the underlying cause and discuss the best treatment options for you. Open communication with your healthcare provider can lead to a tailored treatment plan that addresses your specific needs and concerns, helping you regain confidence and improve your quality of life. Section 11, the bottom line. Erections are complex and fascinating, so there you have it, a crash course in the science behind erections. 
As you've learned, it's a complex and fascinating process that involves a delicate interplay of the brain, hormones, blood vessels, nerves, and even our thoughts and emotions. Understanding how erections work is essential for men of all ages. It empowers us to take control of our sexual health, address any concerns, and seek help when needed. Remember, you're not alone. If you have any concerns about your erectile function, don't hesitate to talk to your doctor. They can provide you with accurate information, address your questions, and help you make informed decisions about your health.